Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about envy and jealousy, what they have in common and how they are very different. First of all, how are they similar? They're emotions that everyone has and they're emotions that we don't like to admit to having. It's easy to admit some emotions, like for instance, if we're frustrated about something or we're angry about something, but to admit that we are envious or jealous can be difficult to do because it does sound kind of embarrassing in a way. So let's first talk about the differences in the meaning of the two. Envy is when you want what somebody else has, whether it's a possession or a trait or where they're at in their life, anything like that. You don't have it and you want it, so you're envious of them. Whereas jealousy is when you're afraid that somebody is going to take away something or someone that you currently have in your life and you feel threatened because you feel like you might lose it. So for instance, if I'm envious of another YouTuber, that means that they have more subscribers than me, they have more views than me, they have something that I don't have and I'm envious of them. However, if I'm jealous of another YouTuber, then that means that I am fearing that people will go from my channel and start watching their videos instead of mine. So I am losing them to another YouTuber. So that's the difference between envy and jealousy. So both of these emotions have different levels that bring out different things in us. For instance, for with envy, you can have what's called benign envy or you can have malicious envy. Benign envy can actually be a good thing because benign envy can help us to be motivated to make changes ourselves. So we can admire someone and be envious of them and think, okay, they've accomplished this or they have this, and so it can help to drive us. However, when envy becomes malicious, that's when we start telling ourselves or what's worse, even gossiping to other people saying, well, this person has this or got this because of luck or because of some break. And we start trying to justify it and downplay it. And that's when envy can really turn into resentment rather than admiration for the other person. And the three stages of jealousy are emotional, cognitive and behavioral. With emotional jealousy, we're just feeling those feelings of jealousy. And sometimes that can be a good thing because it means that the person or the thing is important to us. And that's why we're feeling these feelings of jealousy. However, when emotional jealousy then moves over into cognitive jealousy, that's when we start becoming suspicious. And then if it moves into behavioral jealousy, that's when we start doing something about it. We start taking action to try to regain control. So for instance, we would start checking up on some, someone or we would start asking other people about the situation. And it's important to know these three stages because when jealousy moves from just those feelings of jealousy, that emotion, once it moves to cognitive, where you're really thinking about the situation and you're starting to become suspicious, and then when it moves towards behavioral, when you're trying to take action, that's when trust breaks down because you are not trusting the other person. All of our emotions, when they just start as emotions, that's not when they're bad. It's when we start really taking them to the next level is when these emotions can really become destructive. So it's always a good idea to ask yourself, am I envious a lot or am I jealous a lot? And if so, what could be the root of it? Usually with envy, it's because we're in the comparison trap. So we are constantly comparing ourselves to others. And whenever we're feeling like we're coming up short, then we're feeling envious of the other person. With jealousy, it usually stems from insecurity. We're feeling insecure about something being taken away from us. So the next time you're feeling either envy or jealousy, just sit back and do some reflection and ask what is it that's making you feel this way. Do some inner reflection rather than projecting it on the other person. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you'll share it with someone else.